This is how we made six figures last year with our iPad photo booths. What's up everyone? Welcome to Hustle with Drew. Today I'm gonna to give you the secrets and give you the info on how we made well over six figures last year with our iPad photo booths. It's no secret, you guys. It's the drop off. Yes, it's exactly what I said. We're literally getting our booths, making sure they're clean, not dirty like this. We get hired for an event, no printing, it's digital only, meaning text, email, QR code, sharing for the photos. We drop it off and we leave. The secret, right? The secret sauce of this is we do all day rentals. We don't do hourly. We thought out of the box and obviously I didn't create this. I stumbled upon it on accident and then really implemented it into my business when I had my mentor. And you guys watch my videos, you can consider me your YouTube photo booth mentor, but the trick is to let them have it all day. You're creating value for your customers. So we let them have it all day. That allows me to come in the morning, drop it off or as early as I can. Then guess what? I go to my next event. I drop off my next photo booth and then so forth, so forth and so forth. So I want to talk about some of the questions I get when I talk about this subject. The number one is what happens if someone steals it? What do you do? Like if they break it, contracts, contracts are in place, right? That's the number one thing. You have to make sure there's a contract signed between you and your customer. You can call it an agreement, whatever you want to call it. It's something that is in paper that's signed that documents everything. So that's number one. A second one is do you take a credit card, hold it for damages or whatever? We do not. You can do that. But from my experience, a lot of people don't feel comfortable giving a stranger a credit card like that and being able to charge it if they feel they need to charge it. So we don't do that. And why I don't and why I feel comfortable is because I know my photo booths the parts to replace this are inexpensive if you order a photo booth from me from photobooth101.com I encourage you to do the drop-offs and if anything ever happens to your photo booth which it's only happened one time we're talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of events let's just say you come this mirror place is cracked or the ring light is cracked you guys these parts are replaceable we're talking $75 to 100 bucks for the faceplate or the ring light your customer will be they shouldn't I don't want to say they will be they should be more than happy to pay that if you just don't charge them 500 bucks to fix something that's a hundred so be fair let them know like hey if something happens you have to show them the evidence that's why I say if you're dropping off a photo booth I always say this when you drop it off before you leave take your phone film every little aspect of the booth be obsessive with it make sure you don't forget because when you come to pick it up same video same thing that way if there's a crack or any damage you can compare the video you took when you dropped it off to when you picked it up back to the value and back to how we were able to do six figures last year we had all day rental with a four affordable base pricing. What am I talking about? I know it sounds crazy. We're talking about a base price, 375, 300 for the rental, which would just include the photo booth shell with the iPad, with the software, with only the photo option. No GIF, no boomerang, no video, just photo option. $75 was a minimum delivery and setup and breakdown fee. So 375 minimum, right? Up charges would be 100 bucks for the backdrop, $50 for the prop table, $75 for all the other features. Do they need a battery pack? You need an extension cord? Extra charge. Do you need internet? $20. Little, little upgrades. Red carpet, stanchions now. That's an extra $100. The name of the game is low price with upgrades available. So now your price is attractive. People are like, what's this $300 rental for? Like, wow, I'm interested. All day? No way. That's how we're able to do it and we're creating value with the, the formatting of the pricing. So everyone has package one, package two, package three, but we live in a d day and age now where people have their own backdrops. People wanna make a balloon art. So if you have a package with the backdrop included, if they go with you, they're gonna feel like they need a discount or want a discount or they're not getting the value because they already have it. They're already providing that stuff. So that's the main, main tip and secret is the pricing and the formatting of the hourly. So I know a lot of people are asking, what about prints? We stay for prints. We don't leave a print event because paper runs out, there's jams, all that stuff. So when we're getting hired for printing, we, we charge 750 to 800 bucks for three hours. So back to the drop-offs, you guys. Another thing I get asked a lot is, um, how do you prevent people exiting the app, right? They're worried that someone's at an event and they're gonna exit, let's just say Snappic. There's something called guided access. It's uh, a feature on the iPad that will allow nobody to exit it unless they hit a password. Why also do I think drop-offs are effective and another secret and tip why we were so successful is we are able to do more events in a year. We're able to get two booths and have two booths 
three booths out, whatever the, whatever, how many booths you want, it's way more realistic because you're getting hired more because your pricing is more affordable. There's more value. So, you know, if you do prints or you have your, your photo booth set up to where you, you're attending there and you don't leave, even if it's digital, if you're having to be there, you could maybe do two events in one day, if you're lucky, most likely just one. And I'm talking like from 12 to three and then your next event is like from six to 10, which most events are around six to 10 o'clock around that range, right? With me, I can do way more events. What's the benefit of more events? More money, guess what? More repeat customers down the line, more reviews for my Google business, more experience, more becoming the best salesman you can be, more dealing with customers. There's so many more benefits. Yes, it's a little bit more work on the back end, but think about this. If we could make six figures dropping off photo booths, I still probably spent less time than someone making half the amount of money I did being at the event. And to me, my time is valuable and you guys will get to a, uh, to a point in your business to where you'll sacrifice a little bit of money to be able to drop off a photo booth. And you have to get past the whole being afraid of leaving equipment. You guys, just think about this. Instead of thinking what could go wrong, think about what if it went well? Change your mindset. What if it goes better than I think? And also, if you're worried about your $2,000 photo booth, how do you think someone on Turo feels about a sixty dollars to $80,000 card being rented? You know, they're in business for a reason, right? Like that, that may, to me maybe would make more sense to be afraid of. Or someone on Airbnb with a million dollar home. Again, remember, you can drop it off, parts, are affordable, there's contracts in place, and you know, there's just so many reasons why you should do it. And I, I implore everyone to just really think about the iPad photo booth business. And yes, I know iPads don't take the best photos, but with proper lighting, they are good enough. We have no complaints. So again, thank you guys for watching. And as always, subscribe. And if you do wanna get started in the business, go to photobooth101.com, my website, we sell equipment, we have assets for you and we help you grow. So thank you guys so much for watching. More videos coming soon, take care.